We turn now to the dangerous attacks on election officials. Authorities in multiple states are investigating suspicious envelopes sent to election offices this week, some testing positive for the deadly drug fentanyl. ABC News senior investigative correspondent Aaron Katursky is here with more on that. Good morning, Aaron. Re uh, Rebecca, good morning to you. The ranks of election workers have been dwindling as threats to them increase. The latest involve these suspicious letters, some of which did test positive for fentanyl. This morning, the FBI is working to trace the origin of threatening mail sent to election offices in at least five states. The envelopes containing different substances, including fentanyl, which can be deadly even in tiny amounts, about the size of 10 grains of table salt. It's just really distressing that some people would actually resort to these type of uh, domestic terroristic uh, actions. Georgia authorities are trying to intercept a letter targeting Fulton County and in the meantime providing election workers with Narcan. The Georgia-bound letter is similar to letters sent to election offices in four other states, California, Nevada, Oregon, and Washington, where ballot counting temporarily stopped in several counties while election workers evacuated. So we're going into a presidential election. Uh, things are only going to get crazier, possibly, hopefully not. The Pierce County Auditor's Office in Tacoma received this letter, reading in part, end elections now. We are in charge now, and there is no more need for them. This is a form of domestic terrorism. That's all that it is. The FBI said at least four of the letters tested positive for fentanyl. Postal Inspection Service is now racing to intercept any additional letters before they're delivered. Investigators are working to determine now whether this was coordinated or whether the letters originated from the same source. DeMarco? It is frightening to say the least. Aaron, thank you very much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.